but heavy little ones draw a cute little adorable face with a preferably washable marker on the front of your pumpkin that you can saw aside that you choose to pick. And then you become the carving assistant. Once you go ahead and take out the top, as an example over here on the side, you go ahead and get a nice, uh, preferably a metal spoon. The wooden spoons are harder to dig into. But you get a nice metal spoon in here, you scoop it out for them once they've drawn the picture. And once you've scooped out enough guts, as I like to call them, the kids think, ew, guts, yay. Then you have your kids get their hands in there, dig in, and they go, ah, and they get up a lot of the guts. Make sure you're now being the pumpkin assistant, having the children pop, or pro actually got to go from the outside, inside out, pop out the uh, carving pieces that you've actually cut out for them earlier. And once again, throw them out, push them through from the back, push through, have yeah. yourself a really nice jack-o'-lantern. If you're going to go ahead and use a candle, please make sure that you use a glass holder with it as well and fill it up with a little bit of water inside. I recommend these tiki lights. These tiki lights still light up very pretty. They have kind of look like they're actually lit on fire. You put them in the, in the middle. You can actually get a couple of them. Put a couple of them inside your jack-o'-lantern if you feel that one is not enough. And voila, you have yourself a beautiful jack-o'-lantern.